welcome to this new tutorial offered to you by LearnElectronics.org. In this tutorial you will learn how to simulate a 16 QEM system in System View using the Algorithm Design Library. Start System View and create a blank project. In the Part Selector choose the Algorithm Design Library. Click on the Design icon in the Workspace tree and call it 16 QEM. Delete the default data flow analysis. Add a new folder to the workspace tree and call it Analyses. Use this folder to store the data flow analysis you may want to perform on your algorithmic model. Add a new folder and call it Graphs. Use this folder to store all the simulation graphics. Look for the random bit generator in the algorithm design library, and drag and drop it in the schematic sheet. Look for the mapper, then drag and drop the symbol in the schematic. The mapper groups consecutive bits at the input to form a symbol value which is mapped to a complex valued constellation point at its output. A constellation point is a pair of real values, i and q, that is expressed on the output as a complex number i plus jq. The bit stream on the i channel modulates the in-phase part of the carrier, whereas the bit stream on the Q channel modulates the quadrature part of the carrier over a symbol period. Each modulation type has its constellation and symbol length. A 16 QAM modulation has a 4-bit symbol. Connect the input bit stream symbol with the mapper. Find a repeater in the algorithm design library and drag and drop it in the schematic. The repeat model is useful when a block of inputs needs upsampling. This model repeats its inputs to the output a number of times which can be set using the num times parameter. Connect the output of the mapper with the repeater. The output of the repeater is a complex number that must be converted to output real and imaginary values. This task is accomplished by the CX direct model. Find this model in the algorithm design library and drag and drop it in the schematic. Connect the output of the repeater with the CX direct model. The bit stream's output from the CX Direct model must be used to modulate two orthogonal carriers. This is done using a modulator model. Look for the modulator in the algorithm design library and drag and drop it in the schematic. Connect the imaginary part of the sample output from the CX Direct model to the Q channel of the modulator and the real part to the I channel of the modulator. The receiver part of the model is implemented using a bandpass filter and a demodulator. Find the generic filter designer model in the library and drag and drop it in the schematic. Connect the output of the modulator to the filter designer input.
Look for the demodulator in the algorithm design library and drag and drop it in this schematic. The output samples of a data flow simulation in System V must be stored using a special model called a sync. Look for the data sync model in the algorithm design library and drag and drop in the schematic. You need a sync for each one of the output channels of the demodulator. Connect the output to channel of the demodulator with the data sync. Drag and drop another data sync in this schematic sheet. Connect the output I channel of the modulator with a new data sync. To plot the signal constellation we have to add another sync to sample the data output from the repeater. Optionally. We can add a downsample model to reduce the number of samples to plot. So, look for the downsample model in the algorithm design library and drag and drop in the schematic. Connect the output of the repeater with the downsampler. Finally, drag and drop another data sync in this schematic and connect it with the downsample model output. Add a new data flow analysis to the workspace tree. You may want to configure the analysis now. You can assign to your data flow analysis a name, define a name for the output data set, as well as the source and sync parameters for data collection, namely, stop time, system sample rate, number of samples to collect etc. Click Accept to close the data flow analysis window. Click on the equation symbol in the workspace tree to open the equation editor. You can use this feature of System View to define variables and equations and make your design fully parameterized. Define a new variable called FC. This variable represents the carrier frequency. Set it to 5000 Hz, then click on the Go button to update the variable space. Click on the schematic symbol in the workspace tree to return to your schematic and start editing the model properties. Click on the random bit generator to edit its properties. Now, show the model advanced parameters by setting this option to Yes. Set the sample rate option to timed from sample rate. Set the sample rate to the system sample rate defined in your data flow analysis divided by 20. Set the bit rate to the system sample rate divided by 20. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the mapper to edit its properties. 
set the modulation type to 16 QAM. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the repeater to edit its properties. Set the number of times to repeat to 5. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the down sample model to edit its properties. Set the down sample factor to 5 and the phase to 2. The phase parameter specifies which one sample to output. If phase is equal to 0, the first sample is output. If phase is equal to the down sample factor minus 1, the latest input sample is output. Click OK to close the properties window. Click on the data sync model to edit its properties. Set the designator to TX. Leave all the other parameters unchanged. Click OK to close the properties window. Click on the modulator to edit its properties. Set the carrier frequency to FC. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the generic filter design model to design the filter. In the specification window choose a bandpass Butterworth response. Then set the center frequency to FC and the pass band to 20 Hz. Click Apply to apply these properties to your design. Click OK to close the filter designer. If you observe the schematic now, you can see that the filter symbol has changed and reflects the choices you made in your design. You can click on the filter symbol to observe its response in the filter designer. Click the filter designer button to open the filter designer. You can observe the frequency response of the magnitude of the filter gain. By default only the magnitude option is ticked in the graph section of the filter designer. However, you can select several kind of graphs which include, phase response, group delay, impulse response, root locus, etc. Click OK to return to your schematic. Click on the demodulator model to edit its properties. Set the carrier frequency to FC. Click OK to close the properties window. Click on the data sync of the Q channel to edit its properties. Set the designator to out Q, and leave all the other parameters unchanged. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the data sync of the I channel to edit its properties. Set the designator to out I, and leave all the other parameters unchanged. Click OK to close the properties window. Add a new graph to the workspace tree. General in the type of series box. Put I in the select data box. Click OK to close the graph series wizard. Graph properties window tick the option show all columns. Then give a name and a title to your graph. Assign a label to the data set. On the Add button to add a new data set to be displayed on this graph. Take the Out Queue option. Click OK to close the Graph Series Wizard window. an offset of 3 to the out queue variable to make not to overlap the two plots. Add a label for the new data set. Hit the Y axis tab and uncheck the auto scale option. Set the minimum value to minus 2 and the maximum to 5. Click OK to close the graph properties window. 
plot represents the two bit streams received on the in-phase and quadrature channels. A new plot to the workspace. Times select the option constellation in the type of series box, then tick TX. Click OK to close the graph series wizard window. In the graph properties window, give a name and a title to your new graph. The option show all columns. And a label to the data set you want to plot. Click OK to close the graph properties window. Plot displays the constellation of the transmitted signals. The new graph to the workspace tree. The option trajectory in the type of series box TX. Click OK to close the graph series wizard window. In the graph properties window, tick the option show all columns, then assign a name and a title to your graph. Label to the data set to be plotted. Then click OK to close the graph properties window. The plot displays all the trajectories followed by the modulator during the transmission. Thank you for watching. Bookmark www.learnelectronics.org in your browser and check the website periodically for new free material. Don't forget to follow Learn Electronics and the social networks. Please support Learn Electronics with a donation, a Facebook like, a plus one on Google+, or a tweet to your friend.